at an ag tech event. Homemade, freshly made, pass them along the front row if you can find them. They should be going up and down the aisles with my colleagues from the future young leaders. And how are they made? Well, there are a ton of different ways to do it, but they all come from one base recipe. Rolled oats, flour, sugar, golden syrup, and butter. And the ones you're receiving there, up and down the aisles, well, they're straight out of my grandma's recipe book, the 27th edition of the CWA Cookery and Household Hints. In here are recipes that have been edited and adapted, each tweaked to her own tastes. And these recipes have been shared through people and time, and most importantly, if I wanted to create my own biscuit company, or biscuit.ai, I wouldn't need to redevelop the foundational biscuit recipe from scratch. All I'd need is this here recipe book, a touch of personal flair, some business acumen, and maybe some VC backing if I mention the oven has AI. But let me share something with you. I'm not really a baker. In fact, my mum actually made those cookies there. Uh, I'm a big geek and absolutely obsessed with agriculture. And I grew up between three distinct worlds. The city that sometimes sleeps and is awfully hot, Perth. The beautiful woodlands and red soils of Kalgoorlie and the expanse of farms of Esperance. And I grew up with such an obsession with agriculture, machines and tractors that I used to dream about being given a massive cat Lexian harvester, if you remember them, tied in a bow for my birthday. But, and perhaps most importantly as the youngest child of three, I learned how to share three of everything perfectly evenly. So, I trained in ag science, I taught myself to code in Python, use computer vision and develop with AI. And I found myself with a dream job in Narrabri, working on high power lasers, robots and cameras. To target and destroy every weed my trained algorithm could sometimes find. And on Friday nights, I found myself building robots and prototyping tech. While my housemate Mitch was being exceptionally tolerant of my robot building and hand sawing of aluminium at 11 p.m. Shout out to Mitch. But these experiences, late night robot building, computer vision, agriculture, and evenly sharing everything, well, they bring me back to biscuits, this recipe book, and a question I just can't stop asking myself. Why in agriculture have we decided that reinventing base biscuit recipes every few months, every funding call, every choc chip hype cycle is better than building and sharing those base recipes? Unique and closed recipes for every iteration does not scale. It does not create the foundational recipes that we all love and like to share. And it is not the most impactful way of improving productivity nor creating the thriving ag tech ecosystem that we all so desire. So, how do we transform our approach? How do we improve biscuit quality, not just in one store, but in every location in Australia? How do we let ourselves stand on the shoulders of the baked good giants? Well, I have the answer here. In here are the recipes that have been edited and adapted, each tweaked to the unique requirements of every single agricultural industry. These are the open source recipes for code, for data, the instructions on how they're built. And if we do this, well, we improve the innovation opportunity for everyone, because now the barrier to technology development and adoption is lowered, creating that thriving ag tech ecosystem. And just like the machine learning field did 15 years ago, ag tech can become a faster moving, more innovative, and more user or farmer driven industry. And why? Because now everyone has the base recipe from which to adapt and innovate into their niche use case. And this, this is what I've done with the open weed locator, or as it's affectionately known, the OWL. The OWL is a base recipe for weed detection and site-specific weed control. It means precision weed control adaptable to farms and cropping systems using the latest in image-based weed detection technologies. So it's an innovation platform. And it's built off the open source principles of community, collaboration, transparency, test early and often. So have we seen any bespoke biscuit businesses built off this budding base recipe? Yes, I met a couple of guys 
who were developing a site-specific weed control product. They used the OW to kick off this part of their business, and they since progressed, but it helped them get a leg up at the start to go from zero to one. And the OW community, globally, is growing. Researchers and schools, universities globally are interested now that ag tech is within their technical and financial reach. More minds from across the world working on a single problem. Blueberry growers in the Pacific Northwest in the US have adapted it, horse radish researchers, growers in Australia, people building and contributing in Denmark, France, UK, India, China, New Zealand, South Africa, and Chile, every continent except Antarctica, all built off one base recipe. Rolled oats, I have a tiny computer, a relay controller board, a driver board, sprinkled with a dash of software. And if we do this, if we come together and put these tools for innovation in farmers and everyone's hands, well, we pull back the curtains and the proprietary black boxes that have been created for the purpose of maximizing profits. And the owl is just one niche use case. Open source software globally is valued at over 3.8 trillion, with a T, dollars, and built at a cost of just 4.8 billion, with a B. So imagine the potential if we adopt this in every corner of ag tech. So today, let's get ag tech back to the fundamentals of farmer and community-driven innovation, where farmers can continually hack the tools and technology to meet the conditions that they know better than anyone else. Public funders should be actively investing in the base recipes that support grower-driven innovation. Public funds, public recipes. Companies continue using those open source repositories. They're amazing resources. But consider giving back to the same communities. Embrace the opportunity of others building off your product and your work. And investors be open-minded about open source platforms. There's a laundry list of its successful businesses and companies outside of agriculture that have adopted an open source approach. Investing in the OWL or other open source ag platforms means immediate global impact. And farmers, we need, always need your help to build and develop these devices. Let's get ag, back, ag tech back to those fundamental requirements where farmers can hack those tools and technology to meet those conditions. Evoke ag, go build an owl. And let's challenge ourselves to re release recipes that in just 100 years like the 27th edition of the Country Women's Association Cookery, Book, and Household Hints contain the changes of generations of ag innovators. Thank you.